this i've not got anything on my skin at the minute i've literally just cleansed i've got a face halo this is just a reusable cotton pad um and a little bit of pixie glow tonic toner a little bit of that on my pad all over it's really important that you use toner after you've cleansed just so you close the pores off so when you're putting makeup on it sort of stops any bacteria or anything like that sort of sinking into your pores clogging your pores and giving you breakouts we're going to go in with the kylie skin face moisturizer i like to take two pumps and really work it into the skin if you're not like on point with your skincare then your makeup's just not going to last at all so i'm going to let that sink in for about five minutes and then we'll get into the makeup i've let the skincare sink in a little bit i'm going to go in you want to prime your skin mac natural radiance primer i took two pumps all over it's got oil control and it's got a yellow tint so it'll help counteract any redness so it'll just brighten the skin up slightly too at the minute i've been obsessed with soap brows so i've literally just got bar of soap a disposable brow wand i've got this rimmel fix and go setting spray spray it so just a little bit wet swirl it Push them up a little bit, sort of push them into the skin. NYX brow pencil. So this is really similar to one of the MAC brow pencils that I used to be obsessed with using when I worked there. And it's literally half the price, so I'm obsessed with this. I've used a little bit of the soap just to fluff them up a bit. And I'm really lightly gonna fill them in and as I'm filling them in I'm brushing them through I'm hardly putting any pressure on the um, on the skin when I'm filling it in so I don't want super heavy brows tip as well to get your brows even i've got two mirrors so i've got one stood here and then i've got my little hand mirror so as i'm holding my hand mirror i can sort of fill any sparse areas in quite clearly and then when i take a look back and i look into the mirror this a bit further away i can see how symmetrical they are i know a couple of people said that they want me to stop using as much mac so i was very conscious of how much mac i was using it was just like the only makeup i had so i have bought revolution conceal and define concealer and i'm really excited to try it i'm not gonna go really close to the brows with the applicator i'm sort of just gonna roughly place it all over the lid and then go in with MAC 252. You wanna use a concealer brush. You can see when I pinch this together, it goes really thin. So you don't have to use a brush as big as what mine is, but as long as it's thin enough so you can get that sharp edge underneath the brow just to clean it up. So far, my first impressions are, I do like it, but I do think it's definitely a buildable coverage. Thank 
just gonna pat back over this concealer on my eyes before I set it just because I can see that it's creased. If you're gonna put eyeshadow on whilst the concealer's creased, your eyeshadow's gonna stay creased. Laura Mercier setting powder. Just take a tiny bit in the lid. I'm gonna take a NYX fluffy brush and just pat it over where we've put that concealer. want to make sure that you're covering the whole area and you've not missed anywhere. For the transition colour, I'm just going to use this bronzer. This is another thing that I bought this new. This is NYX Professional Makeup Matte Bronzer and I got the colour Deep Tan. Fluffy brush. This is a MAC 224. Tap the very tip of my brush. And I'm going to start, lift my brows up slightly and focus this outer section by here. I'm not going to drag it down too low towards the lashes, going from stamping the product off being directly straight in the socket. As I'm blending out, I'm lifting the brush. I'm not going to bring the colour too far in. I'm going to keep this very inner corner section completely bare of product. So you don't want to put any colour there at all. Dust the brush in the product once more time. And just press it over the outer three quarters of the lid. Just so it's blended, but it's really subtle. So that's my place where I always start no matter what eyeshadow look I'm doing. I will always start at that same point and then blend out from there. I'm going to go in with my highlighter. So this is MAC Whisper of Guilt. And where we've left the inner corner blank of colour, that's where we're going to dust this and I'm just patting it over halfway so you want it to meet with the bronzer that we've put on the eye. Looking down into the mirror and I'm going to start by just stamping it along the lash line only on the outer quarter though just to make sure that it's blended into the lashes, whatever's left on my brush. Looking down into the mirror and just stamping it right into the lash line. I'm going to start off where the top lash line is. I'm really lightly sketch where I want my wing to go. Now I'm going back on myself and connecting the two. What I'll do normally is I'll just pop the glue on the lashes and just leave them on the side to dry for like a minute. This means that they're nice and tacky so when I stick them on I can literally whack them on and they'll stick down straight away. For the skin, I've not got a, a drugstore foundation yet. I'm still using my Studio Fix which is my ride or die. In my last video I mixed it with a primer so when you mix it with a primer or you can even mix it with a moisturiser, it really shears it out so you could wear it for like an everyday foundation if you wanted. Or if you layer it, which is what I'm, I'm going to do today just so you've got super full extra coverage. Um, it's really nice for a night out. brush that I'm using is a 168 from MAC. You can see I'm leaving under my eyes blank because I'm going to go in with concealer by there. 
building up a little bit of extra coverage where I've got blemishes. A little bit down the neck, just to make sure it's blended. From the inner corner, swipe up like that. I'm gonna use the same brush and just see how it blends. and not only under the eye but slightly over the cheek as well and the reason why I'm doing that is just so you've got a little bit more coverage where we get red and quite flushed throughout the day whatever's left I'm just going to take a look at the chin I'm going to look down into my mirror and go right above the lashes and literally just plonk them on and then adjust them with my fingers that we used for the liner bronzer to start off with so in order to make your eyes look lifted you want to keep majority of the product on the outer corner of the eyes so that's what we're going to do underneath and i'm just going to lift up my lashes and just really lightly wiggle it as close to the lashes as i can get it I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Studio Fix powder from MAC. Same brush that we've used for everything else on the face. Just tap under the eye. I wanna set the concealer because I can see that it's creasing. But that's okay. Because there's nothing that a little bit of powder won't fix. I'm then gonna again use the same brush. I'm gonna go in with this bronzer that we used on the eyes. I'm gonna start here and stamp and then try and brush it out. Smile, bring it on the apples of the cheeks where you would put your blusher. Go along the jawline. We smile and really lightly in circular motions. Go in with my setting spray. Same brush again. Tap in the highlighter. And just press it into the cheekbone. modesty from MAC so it's just a really subtle everyday pink I would say. I'm just going to press it into the lip because I don't want anything too intense. I hope you enjoyed, thank you all for watching, bye guys!